right, Jitskis, the steering competition has but three rules. Number one, no freaking. Number two, no laughing. And number three, you must make eye contact at all times. If you fail at any of those, then you lose any Christians. So we can't blink at all? No, Mr. Face. And that is why I will win the staring competition. Do I have to play this game? Yes, Cranky. I have to beat you in order to win the tournament. Just like I beat Bill. Well, hey now, speaking of me, I've got some really cool news coming down the Bill Peterson pipeline. Ew, ew, wonderful. Let's have a party. We can make cake and eat it. Whoa there, King Cranky. What's with the attitude? I'm applying for the new mustache filer position. <laughs> Cranky, we're talking ultra-average middle management here. You get your own stapler, you get a basic cubicle with paperwork and computer. Ooh. I'm a shoo-in to get the job, Charles. I'm the best. Business, Bob. What are you doing upstairs? When I was a kid, I was given a first aid kit. And I used that first aid kit to build a ladder. Ladder? And I use that ladder today to climb into your house and go into your closet to ensure that my wardrobe is better than yours. And it is. And that's a wrap. <laughs> Are you, is that a laugh or you sound like you're starting to cry? I, I, I feel like I busted about a million blood vessels in my head just now. Um, like I just ate a whole pint of ice cream at once. So you snuck into Bill's bedroom just to take a look at his wardrobe and see if yours was slightly better than his? It was very bizarre. And to inspire fear. You see, Bill and I are applying for the same job. You're applying for the ultra-average middle management position, too? That's right. Well, how'd you know about it? Pete's List. 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 I get it. It's on Cranky's Tweeter page as well. What? Cranky has a Tweeter page? Tweeter page! Yeah, whatever. I like to keep people up to date on my comments and my going. Cranky, the only thing you put on your Twitter page is Cranky feels cranky today, over and over and over again. Hey, man, that's big news. Never mind, you dim bulbs. The job is mine, and there's nothing that you can do about it. What makes you think you're going to get the position? I'm pretty good at business. Yes, you could. Look at me. I'm a 90s kind of guy. As I run my hand through my hair. Look at my shirt. It's a delicate, angelic paisley. My rope belt is so long it could be used to lower cargo into ships. That is the finest rope belt I have ever seen. I have power pleats. Oh, wow. You got no chance against a 90s kind of guy. I'm a 90s kind of guy? No, you're not. You're stuck in the 80s. Late 80s, maybe. 88 and pushing 90s. 84. Early 80s. Early 80s. The movie Flashdance, Footloose, comes into mind. Now, hey now, Bill. I think you look pretty good. You have a nice wardrobe. Your shirt barely blouses. What my shirt? Did you get this at a circus concession stand? Circus? Hey! Did you cut your own hair? Hey, I, I cut that hair. You should look into a Floby. They're all the rage. I see at the interview. 90s, 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 90s. I use my left hand to say 90s, my right hand to say 90s, 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 alternate. 90s, 90s. Bill, you can't listen to that bully. You have a nice wardrobe. You're fresh from head to toe. You know, Charles, I used to think that too. But Business Bob's got me to thinking. If I want to get that job over him, I think I need an update. Oh.
for some very reasonably priced clothing. Business Bill is going to become Business Bill 90s edition. Time out, Mr. Face. I need to get the door and no blinking while I'm gone. Okay, good you. Oh, hey, Ellie. Hey, Charles. What you got? Well, I have two tiny bags from Crazy Carl's slightly out of date but reasonably priced mint business wear. I, I love that place. Charles, only the most desperate shop there. Great goblins, Ellie. Bill's gone overboard. We need your help. Yeah, someone needs to judge the staring competition. <laughs> well, we do need help with that. But more importantly, Ellie, we need help cheering Bill up. This bully is destroying his self-confidence. Don't worry, guys. I think I can help you with both. Yay! Yes. All right, is that what I think it is? Tiny bags filled with business clothing. Sure is, Bill. But why are you ordering all these new clothes? Look, I need this stuff. Business Bob was right. I gotta get with the times. Well, I have a few more deliveries to make, but I'll be back later to check on you guys. Bye, Ellie! Bye, Ellie! Charles, you know what these bags represent? <sighs> Low self-esteem and desperation. The dawning of a new age! I'm gonna be 90s Bill! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? A montage? A montage! Have you trying on all your new clothes? I like it, Charles. Some montage music is in order. Hey. Uh, can we just fake it? It's a lot of work. Or we could just do a finger snap. Something kind of whimsical like that. You just instantly change. Okay. Do it. Do try it. Uh, do it again. Um, do the other hand. Try the, uh, yeah, that's the hand that you should probably you should do it with. Um, bam. Do a, uh, a yeah, knuckle power fisted. And then say, what well, may our, uh, say our powers you. What you uh, oh. oh. Maybe we should just do something more traditional. Maybe we should just go upstairs and just change and come back. Yeah, that's probably a pretty good idea. I'll just. I'll stick to the kind of the tra traditional way. I'll head upstairs and, uh, change so oh good night nice duds chief mustache bear yeah huh right look at me charles my self-esteem is at an all-time high what'd you do i'm sorry I just got the snap to work. Couldn't figure it out. The gears were turned around. Well, get my clothes back, Charles! Done. <laughs> All the whimsy's gone. You're just gonna have to go up to do it traditionally, Bill. Where are my clothes? They're probably in the bathroom. Typically, that's where stuff ends up from whimsical snaps. Charles, snap! Get Bill out of that fashion nightmare! Hey! <laughs> this is Bob! Not you again! Nice time! Not. Hey! Where are you, anyways, business Bob? How do you keep getting into our house? The fence. Fence? We don't have any fence. Yeah. What is oh. that? Those we got an elaborate system of gerbil tubes. Yeah, I built it a few years ago. I was doing experiments on gerbil DNA combined with hippopotamus. Yeah, but, but we would never get in those tubes. They're very aggressive. Don't, if you see one, run. Yeah, get out of there as soon as you can. We don't feed those kids. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back! Hey, 
Hey, Ellie! Well, I'm gonna head upstairs and change my clothes. I at least want to feel comfortable when I get rejected at the interview. Charles, what was that all about? Why is Bill so sad? Well, he, he got that new outfit and he thought it would make him fit in better. Fit in better? Is this business Bob's doing? Yep. Oh, that mean old bully. Bill shouldn't have listened to him. That's what I keep saying. That's what I keep saying. That is what I keep saying. That's what I keep saying. That's what I keep saying. Stop. What... Well, I'm off to the interview to get rejected. I'll see you guys in the unemployment line later. <laughs> hold on a gosh darn second. What is it, Ellie? Bill, you need to hold your head up high. I would, but my 80s garb is weighing it down. Bill, Philippians 4.11. Not that I speak in respect of more, for I've learned, for whatever state I am in, to be content. Content? Yes, Bill. Happy. I was happy with myself until Business Bob came along and made me see how out of date I am. Bill, Business Bob is bullying you. Yeah, not to mention he keeps getting in the house. Yeah, that guy's an infestation. There's bugs everywhere. You know what I'm saying? You got bugs. You know what I mean, bugs? Don't... You got bed bugs. Everybody's got bed bugs. Covering bed bugs. No? <whistles> Nothing? <laughs> That's why. Bill, I like the way you look. Your style is to be envied, and your mustache revered. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Face, but I don't even have an angelic paisley shirt. My belt stops right here, and I don't got power plates. Who needs power plates when you have classy corduroy? Oh, classy corduroy, ready for all occasions. And who needs paisley when you get an average of the quit? Too legit, too legit to quit, come on, too legit, too legit to quit, come on. Stop. Oh, okay, hammer time. <laughs> Bill, God wants you to be content with what you have and who you are. Here's a hint, be content. I like that, or, or, pitch a contentment tent. No, no. A tent. Just hint, no. Go to that interview, hold your head up high. Because you're an 80s kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Goonies. Corey, Haim, and Feldman. I'll see you guys when I get back. Because I'm an 80s kind of guy. I want to touch my hair or ruin the part. Okay, Ellie, are you ready to judge the steering competition? I sure am. It's gonna be fun. I sense a little sarcasm there, but I'm gonna ignore it. Get ready, Faith, for a stare down. I've been training for seven months. I can go eight hours without blinking. Are you ready? Count us down. Three, two, one. Stare. Oh, I lost. I blinked instantly. <laughs> I can't believe you actually decided to show up today, on this day, today. We got no chance, Bill Peterson, against a 90s kind of guy. Oh, so you want to do me like that, huh? You want to do me, do me, do me like that. That's okay. We'll see how quiet you are when you're crying all the way home after you don't get the job. My name is Bill Peterson, and I'm applying for the job of ultra average middle management. Why? Because I love business. Because I love the business. I love meetings about meetings. I love slap bracelets and push pops. Reading in traffic in the morning. Or it's like radical and bogacious. I love paperwork. Stack 10 feet high. 
The Simpsons where Bart was more famous than Homer. Big guys that don't do anything to call themselves bosses. Goodbye cassettes. Hello CDs. I love sitting in my chair and thinking about doing work. Jinkos. Coffee. Highlights. Coffee tables. Reebok pumps. Coffee stains. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. This ain't no cartoon dude. I love showing up to a meeting about a meeting that we just had about a meeting we're gonna have in the future. Alright, stop. Collaborate, listen. Business Bob is back with a brand new invention. My name is Bill Peterson, and I love the 90s. Business. What do you mean? Thank you, sir. I won't let you down. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. I mean, I don't understand what I did wrong. I mean, I, I, I wore the right kinds of clothes. I mean, I hate crazily. You know? Well, no, business Bob. Were you yourself? No. Bill Peterson, I gotta tell you something. I'm a fraud. I'm a phony. I'm a fake. I hate the 90s. And I don't know a thing about business. Well, so why are you dressing like that? Why are you sneaking into my house and making me dress like that? Why do you say you love business if you don't? I thought if I was good at business, people would like me. You know? They like you. Well, business, Bob, if you don't like you, who cares if anyone else does? Thanks to you, I learned that when we're not ourselves, we're not happy. But when we're content with how God made us, then no amount of bullying can bring us down. I'm sorry for picking on you. You helped me learn a valuable lesson. Mm. That's a kind way of looking at it. I suppose it is. So if you don't like the 90s, then you don't like business. What do you really want to do? You know, Humpty Dumpty. Oh, yeah, he's down on Briar Street sitting on a wall. To be honest with you, Business Bob, he doesn't look so good. He's teetering. I know. I think he's about to fall. And when he does, this guy. This guy. When he does, Charles says he's going to be waiting there with a skillet, ready to fry him up. I think it's a good idea. We could eat for weeks on an egg that day. Uh. Wow, Charles, that episode was epic. Yeah, we learned a lot about bullying. We sure did, guys. I learned that no matter what, we need to be content with ourselves. That's how God made us. That's how God made us. Hear the hint? Just be content. No, no, no. You remember? Picture contentment tip. We didn't do that. We didn't hear the head. Just be content. No, no, Charles. Picture contentment tip. No, Bill, you can't build tents. You're not good at building tents. Hear the head. Bill's not good at building tents. What are you talking about, Charles? Bill, the last time you tried to build a tent, we wandered around in the woods for 48 hours. Whoa, 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 Charles. I had to eat bark, Bill. We agreed that no matter what, we would remember that as a good time. But it wasn't. No, that was a good time in our lives. That was fun. Okay? Fine. We'll go with get a hint. Here's a hint. Just be content. Okay. Here's a hint. Just be content. Goodbye, dance. Goodbye, dance. Oh, now this is our good. And this is our bad. We said now this is our good. And this is our bad. We say goodbye. Take it over. We say goodbye. Take it over. We say G O O D B Y E. Goodbye. We'll see you guys next time. And remember, curl them, mustaches down, and Jesus loves you. You want a pitch? You're content, Mint it. And you knock it down and smash it to bits, cause I'm a bard. <laughs> <laughs>